Hey YouTube, it's Chris Bergstrom from BushidoPhoto.com and today I'm going to show you how you can get inexpensive lighting for your videos, whether it's YouTube videos, whether you're making a movie, short film, advertisements, whatever the case is, I'm going to show you how you can do it. So when I was starting out making videos for YouTube, a lot of times I was using window light or I tried to makeshift stuff with you know, work lights and the white balance is all messed up and it just doesn't look good. So what I'm trying to do is look for something that is under $100 and that I can use to make professional looking videos with my existing photography equipment, whether that be umbrellas, soft boxes, light stands, that kind of thing. So this is what I ended up doing. I looked on Amazon, I looked on YouTube and there's a lot of do it yourself LED lights, you know, with like hundreds and hundreds of small LEDs in a, in a square panel. Looks really professional, but the cheapest I could find it to actually buy one was about $200. So again, we're trying to keep the price point to around $100. So then I decided, well, they're starting to come out with a lot more LED light bulbs. So I looked for the most powerful compact light bulb that I could find and for a two-pack of the GE LED sticks um, they're only about $18 for a two-pack and you can get them in a five-pack I think there's even like a 10-pack um, and they're only $18 for two of them so that's literally like nine bucks a piece so then you're asking yourself well how can you get enough light out of one of these well the key is we're gonna use five of these and I'm gonna show you the mount that I use and I picked this up on Amazon. It's a ESDDI uh, five bulb attachment that actually connects like a, to a light stand. Now, one of the drawbacks to this particular one is they should have thought about putting an umbrella mount on here like you would have on your normal light stands. But since it doesn't come with it, what I did is I added this brass adapter which you can get these pretty much for like two or three dollars on the internet and then I use a Manfrotto umbrella bracket the swivel adapter and I just attach that there here's the back of the actual unit and you have individual switches for each bulb so you can increase the intensity or decrease the intensity to whatever your liking is uh, I actually use two of these normally when I'm shooting video and I'll add some fill light from one side that's less intense than my key light and I'm going to take you on a tour here in a second of how I set this up and the options are pretty much limitless with what, how you want to do this. But you can see here we've got one, two, three, four, and five and these are super duper bright. Um, now again, decrease the intensity. Now we're down to one bulb. Um, you can see right here just a fill light on my face and then how it fills in even more until it's probably overexposing at this point. But when I put this into an umbrella, shoot through umbrella or into a soft box, it actually works pretty well. Now let me show you the actual setup. All right, so let me show you inside. This is the Westcott Zeppelin 35 inch and I put the front diffusion panel on here. And as you can see, I just use a second light stand. You could use a Manfrotto arm uh, with a clamp like a super clamp attached to your light stand and run it through here, which is probably a better option. I just set this up pretty quickly just to show you a quick demo. Now again, you can change the intensity, a little more soft. You can see it's really darker if I turn all of these off. But if I crank them all up, I can actually get a pretty decent light. And you can see the light here on my face. It actually looks pretty good. So again, for less than a hundred dollars you can get one of these and start making YouTube videos um, doing interviews whatever the case may be and if you're using like a Westcott 50 inch uh, softbox or a you know 60 inch shoot through umbrella on the front of this same similar quality of light it's very soft and it's inexpensive so I hope this helps you to find some good video lighting that doesn't cost an arm and a leg and the good thing about it is if the bulbs end up burning out you can replace them and these ones are rated to last about 13 years so you shouldn't have to replace these for a very very long time thanks for watching and i'll see you next time